A little over six months ago, I made a video unboxing this little device. This is the Raspberry Pi Model B Plus, as you can see. Well, it is now February 2015, and they've done it again. They've come out with the Raspberry Pi 2. So I thought I'd take a minute just to tell you a little bit of differences between the B Plus and the Raspberry Pi 2 Model B. First and foremost, as you can see just from the front of the boxes here, the Model B Plus was 512 megs of RAM. The Model B on the Raspberry Pi 2 has one gig of RAM. This claims to be up to six times faster. That's due to a newer, faster chip. It's ARM V7 900 megahertz versus ARM V6 700 megahertz and it's quad core instead of single core. So uh, on single threaded stuff, you could expect maybe one and a half times performance, but on multi-threaded stuff, you might be able to expect up to six times the performance. And just to go ahead and throw it out here, inside the box additionally was this quick start guide and instruction manual, safety, stuff like that all sorts of information in a variety of different languages. But beyond the additional CPU power and the additional RAM, there's not a massive amount of difference when you look at the, the B Plus and the Raspberry Pi 2 Model B. You can look at them and you can tell just from looking at them, you see here you said it says Broadcom on it. There we go, we'll get it very close so you can actually see it. It says Broadcom here because they've actually gone ahead and pulled the RAM off and put it on the back. But other than that, look and feel wise, they are pretty close to identical. They have the same footprint. They both have ethernet and four USB ports. They both have the 40 GPIO header pins. They both have HDMI, three and a half millimeters, and micro USB power, as well as micro SD card slots, push push for the micro SD, and the camera headers and the, the other, other headers. It's all pretty much identical other than that. This one has just had a pretty significant performance improvement. Now, unfortunately, with that performance improvement, you do also have a bit more power consumption. The Model B Plus supposedly used around 600 milliamps of power, whereas this one is rated to use about 900 milliamps, but it can also serve up as a charging port. So realistically, I, I think it'll do 1.2 amps per port, something like that. And that's gonna depend entirely upon the power supply that you, you provide for it. But yeah, other than that, there's not a massive amount of stuff to say about it. I'm kinda of curious what you guys would plan to do with something like this. The price point of this is gonna be exactly the same as all the previous models. It's gonna be $35 for the Raspberry Pi 2 Model B. And from what I understand, the previous generation, the B Plus, is gonna to continue to be $35. So unless you have some specific reason to go with the older chip, there's not a whole lot of reason not to upgrade to this one if you're planning to buy a new device. But yeah, definitely let me know down in the comment section what you would do with a new Raspberry Pi 2 Model B. What would you do with that extra RAM? But one of the really interesting things about this newer version, because it does have all this extra power and this ARM v7 core, it can run a whole lot more Linux operating systems and Windows 10, when it becomes available, is going to be made for this device as well, and it's gonna be entirely free. So when that becomes available, I might end up making a video on it just to sort of show what it's all about. A free version of a Windows operating system for a $35 device means that you can get Windows and you can get just computing power in the hands of a lot more people for a $35 entry point. That's realistically not bad at all. And if I end up doing something very cool and very interesting with it, I will of course let you know as well, probably make a video about it. I will put a link down below to where you can buy this on Element 14. Thank you very much to Element 14 for sending this out again. And if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything you'd like to see specifically done with this, let me know down in the comment section below. As always though, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.